I was in the middle of reading this character, and I, it reminded me of something that I do all the time that I think might be a helpful tip, uh, which is dealing with your control curves. So I've installed my finger, hand rig here, or finger rig, and uh, what I'm looking at is I don't really like the size of the uh, circles. I want to make those smaller on these controls. Uh, and I don't want to do that with a script. I just want to quickly do it because I'm in the middle of working and I don't want to stop and whatever. And I don't, I don't really care. Um, and you'll notice the ones on the right side are upside down, so I have to fix that as well. And this is something I run into constantly. So what I'm going to do is just show my curves and show my controllers. And I'm going to get a hold of those curves. Now, one of the things that you could do, and uh, sometimes works, if you want to get the... Um, when you have groupings, if you only want to get the CVs of the curves you have, you can go down one and get, um, you know, when you hit F8, you're only going to do it on the shape node there. Uh, in this case, um, there's a different grouping. You know, when you arrow down, you know, it's done on where they are in the hierarchy, so you're not always going to get the shape node. I do have a script in here for, whoops, not there, but here to get the curve shapes. All right, that, it's not that important. It's just a way to get your curves. So now that I've got these guys... Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to take all of them and scale down. Where's my scale? Okay, it's over here. And scale down that uh, those controls. So what I do is do object center, so I make sure that I'm in the right place. And uh, actually, it's going to work fine in this case. But what I wanted to show in this particular instance was, let's say I only wanted to do the circles and not everything else. So if I go to, say, last CV, and then I'm using the pick walk to pick around them. I'm doing it on all the curves at the same time, which is kind of nice. And if I use that pick walk add, I'm going to hold control. I'm going to go ahead and add all the curves except for the very last one. And that way, now I have on all my controls just the uh, circles of the lollipops left. And now when I scale this, or let's say I was to translate it or something like that, which I'll do next, um, it's only going to do those CVs, right? And now if I go to the Move tool, and this is going to look a little bit different because it's, it's even though it's doing it uh, in the local space or object space, um, you know, it puts the control over here, and now I can pull these guys out. If I had had, you know, all the current CVs selected, I would actually be moving that bottom CV as well, which I don't want. So I just want to pull these guys out a little bit. I'll check uh, with my Geo. Yeah, maybe a little bit less. Okay, cool. Hide my geo again. And now what I do is I want to flip the ones on this side. So I'll deselect these guys, and I'm just going to use Control, right mouse button, go to two CVs. It's going to give me all the CVs. And I have a hotkey for it, but what I'm going to do is go to my absolute in the status line here, and the absolute move, and do negative one. Oops, and I want to make sure I'm in scale. I'm in this negative one in scale and Y, and now it's going to pop those guys right to the other side. So to give you an idea, you can see how quickly that can be. I could just go here, hotkey, and I'm good to go. Um, so anyway, that was just a quick tip on dealing with your curves, and I hope it was helpful.